3, a coin is tossed 3 times and X represents the number of times getting hit. So write X in set notation. So we know 3 times, so the number of getting hit. So yeah. So it can be 0 doesn't even get hit. Maybe 1, 2 or up to 3 because it's been tossing 3 times, so only up to 3. So draw a tree diagram to represent the possible outcome of x. So here the possible outcome of x. So we know that this one x represents getting hits. So we have to give an we have to give a variable so that we can do uh, yes or no. So for example, if this one is h, I get I give h. So h getting hits and this one h prime means not getting h. So here. So for the first toast, so it can be you can either get hit or not hit, right? So for the second, hit, not hit, hit, not hit, and this one is the third toast. So hit, not hit, hit, not hit, hit, not hit, and this one is hit and not. So this is the tree diagram to represent all the possible outcome. So we can see here. So a coin is toast. So we know that when we are being toast, so there is only two outputs. It's either head or tail, right? So that means it's mean 50, 50, 50 percent of getting head and 50 percent of getting tail. So 50 percent is actually 0 0.5. So this one is 0 0.5. So this one is also 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. So here we can see the output. So the first one is H, 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 right? So this one is H, H, H. H. So the second one is H, H and not H, 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 not H. So this one is okay. This one is the second root, right? So this one is okay. Now we are going the this root, which is h h prime, and then h back. So this one is h h prime h h prime h prime four, and then the fifth one is here. So h prime h h prime h h because this one is h this one is h so this one is h prime h h prime h prime h h prime and the last one is h prime h prime h h prime h prime h and the last one here so just one is here right so h h prime h prime so we have one two three four five six seven eight okay so this one is probability of getting h h h. This one is h h. So this is the probability of the possible outcome. Okay. And we can see that since this one is all 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so all the probability is equal to half. Or just 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 for all these three which we get one over eight so since we know that every root is 0 0.5 so it's going three times 0 0.5 so this one is also all the root is equal to 0 0.1 over eight so this one is equal to one over eight 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8, and 1 over 8. Okay. C. Show that x is a discrete random variable. If it is a discrete random variable, that means that total probability is equal to 1. So we can add up all the probability. This one is 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 uh, of 1 over 8. So here we get 
1. So if it is a discrete random variable, then the total probability is equal to 8. So you can see which is proven. We have 8, 8 of 1 over 8 and then after we add up everything or basically we can just multiply with 8, we get 1.